You know something I'm horrible at? I'm horrible at intros. I'm horrible at saying, Hi guys, how's it going? Yeah, it's the same as last video, because I can't actually hear what you're saying. Yeah, that's what I'm really bad at. I'm really bad at intros. But there's three things I wanted to talk about in this commentary, and I didn't even think it was going to be a commentary, for starters, but we'll talk about that later. The first thing I wanted to talk about is King of the Hill maps versus other maps, and why this video is going to be on King of the Hill, and why a lot of future videos are going to end up being on King of the Hill. And the reason for this is, is that I like the pace of King of the Hill maps. There's a lot of running around, everything's sort of focused on one central point, but you don't have to be. So here in this gameplay, I'm running around with my black box, just laying siege to everything around me and not worrying about the point at all. But by doing that, I can help my team members just worry about the point and then while I'm picking off people from different areas, I can be even more helpful by just making sure that anybody that can go that is going to go to the point is really low in numbers when they actually do make it there. I can just be extremely annoying and obnoxious. But I like to pace the King of the Hill maps. I find they don't like they don't have parts of them where there's you're just holding off and you have to wait for a medic to charge an Uber like on a payload map or on a um, capture points map or something like that where you're stuck in one section and both teams are just throwing bodies at each other and not getting anywhere. Kills actually mean something and there's a timer and it's just much more fast paced and I really like the way it goes and you can also go an entire round without dying if you're good enough or if you get lucky enough which is what this was. I joined that last game, the reason I wasn't even top scoring was because I joined with 60 seconds left in the map. That was, that whole last bit right there was me from 60 seconds left and on. So everybody had a pretty significant point advantage on me, but it's all good. And then I join just the same, same um, server. Next game, I joined and this is what's going on in this one. But as you can see, I'm just running around, jumping around, just doing whatever I want, not even worrying about the objective. Other people can do that, and that's why I like King of the Hill maps. And that's also why I like the black box on King of the Hill maps, is because when you need a lot of survivability, when you're sort of just running around as a lone wolf with your black box, doing whatever you want, it's really nice to have the extra survivability that this gives you. And normally, with a lot of classes, you honestly only need two rockets anyway. And if you're just pretty consistent about your reloading and you just manage your ammo properly and you're just conscious that you're having, that you have ammo problems with the black box, it usually isn't that big of a deal. I would, I would never do this if, um, say it was a competitive 6v6 game, unless it was on the King of the Hill map. I wouldn't do that on a, like, 6v6 capture the points map or anything like that. Maybe a 9v9, um, depending on the situation. But... That's pretty much going to wrap up this commentary, guys. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to continue really doing commentaries, but we'll see how everything goes. And stay awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next video.